of the India? Uh, India will be very happy with the current situation because they lost an important toss, but they've managed to put the brakes on New Zealand scoring. So they'll fancy the chances if and when the game starts again to chase down whatever New Zealand get. New Zealand perhaps think that, you know, 230, 240 might be enough, but we'll have to wait and see. And what about you? I mean, it's raining right now. How helpful is going to be for India? Well, first of all, I understood everything what you said <laughs> and he mentioned. Yeah. Um, first of all, thank you very much and um, salam to everyone, whoever is watching, and uh, lots of love from our side to, yes. to everyone who is watching. Alaikum <laughs> salam. Yes, walaikum <laughs> salam. Uh, yeah, India would be very happy with this, uh, you know, whatever New Zealand have scored. It's not too much, you know, for India. If we look at their batting lineup, they have got enough uh, batting to chase down any sort of total, which is uh, which is a good thing. So far, we have seen Indian batting have come good, and um, today I think 230, 240, whatever they will put on board, India will be fancy their chances to win this game. So would you say also 230, 240? Yes, because I, actually this drizzle that has come down will help India. Uh, because just the last three, four overs, you saw the effect of the light drizzle. The ball became easier to hit. It was skidding off the pitch. So if there is a bit of moisture around, uh, the pitch was looking very slow when uh, they were batting. So whenever India come into bat, you might see a little more pace in the pitch because of the overhead conditions, which is not such a bad thing. And shorter the game, I think India ha have even better chances because they have some really experienced uh, short form, even shorter format uh, players than 50 overs cricket. So India from all counts looks like, you know, they're well placed. Uh, also, we have on Thursday England playing uh, against Australia. Who do you really want India to play against in the final? Well, to be honest, uh, it doesn't matter whoever will come in front of India because India is uh, quite ready for any sort of challenges. And uh, what I feel, who is going to come? I think Australia. I will I'll go with Australia because Australia have got a better side in terms of uh, bowling. If we talk about Australia have got better bowling attack than England. So uh, I think and they have more experience in playing in the World Cup than, uh, and I think uh, England they will probably choke in the big games. And uh, Sanjay Mandekar, my friend, he was just waiting to hear that. That You know, he's here just to see how well England will play, whether they can win the World Cup or not. Is that correct? Is that correct? <laughs> yeah, uh, he's quite right, because I've said it on another platform as well. First thing, India is not through yet. Huh? So let's not talk, talk about <laughs> India, who would they prefer. So let India win this game. But he, uh, I'm with uh, Harbhajan Singh. I think England will find it tough to beat Australia. Australia have been there, done that before, and that comes into play on the big stage. England, their nerves will be jangling. And they want to crunch games, batting first. If they have to bat second, we'll see how it goes. I'm backing Australia. So, will I be not seeing you with the England flag on Thursday? Uh, definitely not. You know, I've come, <laughs> <laughs> I've come to England to see whether this best England one-day side ever have the, the heart to win an ICC title because for a country like England, which started playing cricket in the 1870s, that they don't have any 50 years World Cup title or, for that matter, a Champions Trophy title is something that they've got to be... Uh, I don't want to use the strong word, but something that they would want to improve on. So this is their best opportunity. If they squandered this opportunity as well, then watch out for my statements after that happens. <laughs> yes, and we have uh, Rahul today, we have Kuldeep, and, so not Kuldeep, um, uh, we have very strong players playing today. Is there somebody in the squad that you wanted to see today? Well, I'm looking forward to see Virat Kohli bat and uh, Hopefully, he'll get a 100 here today, you know, whenever the game uh, will start. Hopefully, it starts at some point of time. It's raining at the moment quite heavily. So, uh, I would love to see Virat Kohli getting 100. And, uh, what about Rahul? Rahul, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's got a run uh, in the previous game. So, I would like to see Virat Kohli getting 100. You know, he hasn't got a 100 yet in the World Cup. So, uh, this is a great opportunity in front of him. And uh, he loves chasing. And this wicket, you know, you know, when the ball will come nicely to the bat, he'll fancy his chances to get a hundred here. Sanjay, I want to ask you about the squad. How happy are you with the squad? I know that usually you do say a lot. Are you satisfied with today's squad or not? No, no, I was not happy with the playing 11 pick today because that was a huge risk to play just five bowlers. And Hardik Pandya, hats off to the guy. I mean, he was hobbling off the field. And when that happened, India would have uh, imagined their worst nightmares coming true. Because just imagine if Hardik wasn't able to bowl his uh, full quota of 10. He had about six left when he went. 
they would have had Virat Kohli or Dhoni or Rohit Sharma bowling those six overs. <laughs> would you agree with him? <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, you know, it was uh, kind of a decision where you know any bowler gets hurt and then you don't have a six bowler. But uh, you know, hats off to Hardik Pandey as uh, Sanjay Bai mentioned that uh, he bowled those uh, ten overs and he bowled beautifully. Super. You know, he he continued to put pressure on the batsman. It was uh, good to see. You know, to show a lot of heart. And courage to go out there and bowl those uh, ten overs after going through a lot of pain. So very well done. I can see both of you very happy and very like strongly believe that India would be able to chase the, What's the runs. Belief? What's your belief? Well, I, I, I strongly believe that India would be able to, to win today and will qualify for the final. And I have very strong belief that India would be able to even win the, the World Cup. What about you guys? Well, I, I certainly feel that India have got the team to lift the cup, uh, not just today. Uh, from the first day itself, I've said, you know, um, it's, it's going to be, you know, how badly they want it. And uh, we have seen the intent, we have seen the energy. You know, they are here to win. They are not here to participate in the World Cup and uh, play in the semis and go back home. So, uh, you know, I, I feel if they play as well as they have done, you know, so far in the competition, uh, they have a great chance to win the cup. Is there something that in today's game should have been done a bit differently? Um, I would like India to stick to the strengths of, you know, getting wickets in the middle. Uh, what we've seen today again, that India just got two wickets uh, through their spinners in this game. Last game as well, just two wickets through their spinners. So that is a matter of concern because India's winning formula has been about getting wickets in the middle. And both those pitches, today as well and the last one at least, the ball was turning. So I'd like to see India focus a little more on what has been their winning sort of... Uh, pattern of getting wickets in the middle and just sort of destroying the opposition in the middle phase of the innings. I know, so I was with you there, uh, you know, around the fan and I could see there were so many people like trying to wave their hands and you had so many, pe uh, so many Indians are here. Are you quite happy the numbers that has turned up today? Well, it feels like we are playing the game in India, not in uh, Manchester, to be honest. Uh, you know, this... Uh, Manchester is all about red, but it's all about uh, blue today. You know, a lot of Indians uh, have come in blue to support our team in blue. So, uh, good to see the numbers of people have come to support the team. And uh, this game is not just about the players. You know, it, it's the fan which makes this game uh, even more bigger. And uh, special thanks to them as well for coming from all over the world and supporting the team. And also, the whole Afghanistan is actually watching India playing today. And... They are a big fan of India. Is there a message you want to say or to, to tell our audience who are watching you right now? I just want to say that, you know, you guys have some phenomenal cricketers and uh, IPL actually is richer by the Afghanistan contribution because the guys that you don't have 15, 20 players playing in the IPL, you've got just three or four, but all four of them are pretty big stars in uh, the IPL cricket. I just want you to focus more on 50 overs cricket and, you know, try and build a game that is... Uh, uh, good in all three formats. So that is something that we've got to look at. It's a long-term dream, but for the moment, they're doing fantastically well. Love their spirit. So continue to support um, world cricket and thanks for being a part of it in the last few years. Yeah, thank you. And also, you have a huge number of fans in, in Afghanistan who really admire and watching you as well, especially during the IPL, how you play. Is there something you want to tell the Afghan people who, who they really love to watch you? No, I just want to thank each and every one of you uh, for giving me the support and love and uh, sending the great vibes from Afghanistan. And, uh, you know, as Sanjay Bhai said, you know, it's good to have Afghanistan players playing in the IPL and uh, it makes the IPL even more better. You know, Rashid, Lala, he's, he's brilliant. You know, Nabi is uh, outstanding. And I would have loved to see Shahzad. MS Sadat on this tour. Uh, unfortunately, he missed out. Uh, but, you know, to all the people in Afghan, um, I would say thank you very much and lots of love to all of you. And uh, continue to support your team, Afghanistan, and of course, India as well. So, uh, we'll continue to talk to you and uh, send the right vibes from this side. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, 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 thank you. Thank you. Very thank you. Much. Thank you. Thank you very much. The uh, two players who are playing in the game, they are playing in the game. But they are not able to play in the game. They are 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 able to play in the game. کوتاه یاد آورن و کوچه تا دغدغه میل منو پتراو بانده زکوی پدی پانگریزی خبری که ولی پا پختو که باید دم را در تا 
نچول کوچی دوی ویل باران د هندستان په ګټه دی لکه چې په سر کې ما یادونه وکړله ځکه د ټاس ګټل د لوبغاړو د لوبډلې لپاره هغه لومړنی د ګټنې یو 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 اړخ لري نو دوی ویل چې کله باران شروع شو نو دغه حالات بدل شو او دوی وکړي یو د ښاغلي سنجی نظر دا و چې دی ویل چې که باران بخت ورکوي هندوستان ته نو له دې ښه ده چې حقیقي لوبه وشي کاش باران نه او داسې نه شوی د افغانستان په تړاو باندې چې دوی کوم نظر یاد کړ هغه دا و چې مخکې لاغې چې د هغوی خبرې ووایم چې یو نظر دا دی چې کراود یا هغه د نندارچیانو شمېر ډېر اغېز لري او نن هم هندوستانیان ډېر دي دوی ویل چې نن د هندوستان نندارچیان بیا هم مینه والي زخ زیات دي او دغه اغېز لري نو د افغانستان پوښتنه وشوله او دوی ویل چې د هندوستان سره د افغانستان په لوبه کې هم د هندوانو شمېر ډېر او دا په لوبه باندې اغېز لري دوی وایي په آی پي ایل کې چې د هند کوم لیګ دی په دې کې ستوري تر ډېره د افغانستان له اسمانه ځلېږي دوی د راشد خان نبی خان او مجیب نومونه واخیسته وایي چې لا نورو ډېرو ستورو ته په تمه دي چې د هندوستان په ځمکه به د کرکټ رڼا خپروي او ډیوه جانې د باران خبره به لږ ورته وکړم ته مه راځه چې لندن نه شې لودونکو دا اوس هم باران وریږي تاسې چې ګورئ زه چې څومره اټکل کوم او دلته چې د هوا د حالاتو اداره کم اټکل کوي پرله پسې متواتر باران شد څو ساعتونو لپاره او د لوبې د ژر پیلېدو امکانات او شونتیا نه لیدل کېږي هماغسې به اټکل کېږي چې د اورونو د راکمېدلو او ورسره د رنځونو نیوزیلند ته د رنځونو د ورکړې خبرې خبره کېږي که لوبه مس یا ودرېږي په هغه صورت کې نو بېرته به د کابل همکارانو ته ستنېږو همکارانو باران خو ګورئ تاسې خوند ترې اخیستلی شي ځکه هلته به ګرمي وي خو دلته سړی دي زما دغه کلک جمپر مې اخوستی له ګرمۍ نه نه له سړو نه نظامي صاحب ستاسو خو چې باران کوي که لمر وي همېشه ستاسو جمپر په ځان باندې وي نو زه فکر نه کوم چې صرف د باران په وجه باندې تاسو اصلا ډېر زر زر خو زما زما هوا تاثیر نه که ته د چت نه نه خوري بیرون نه وزي زه خو نو ګر ګر زما ویښته خرابېږي نو دغه کوم کسان چې نن زموږ سره چې دوه کسان سره چې موږ نن خبرې وکړلې نو دوی نه زه ډېره زیاته مننه کومه همېشه چې د دوی سره موږ غږېدلې یو د افغانستان د ټیم په کړه باندې دوی ډېرې درنې خبرې کړې دي او د افغانستان سره همېشه ډېره زیاته مینه ښودلې ده نو درنو لیدونکو بېرته کابل ته ستنېږو د افغانستان د ملي ټلویزیون په څپو باندې او په آنلاین ډول باندې دا لوبه لیدلی شي زموږ د کابل همکارن تاسې ته نورې خبرونې وړاندې کوي